Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with a fresh podcast. You fuck with Breaking Bad at all? Woo! We just took this party to fucking next level. That's where ASX is called, too. What are you doing in the corner? Just smacking my ass together. Just scared me so bad I got a boner. I am shocked by this air coming out of my ass. I puke my guts out. Is there a bomb dropping back to Run, guys! I'll hit old man in public. I am your fucking savior. Savior. The Nerd Shed Podcast. Hello. Hello, City of Squalo. Nerd Shed Podcast, I'm Matt. I'm Justin. What's up? This is episode 37 of Ooh. the Nerd Shed. Get to the big 4-0 almost. 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 And then do you know what comes after that? Uh, 41. Oh, okay. I was going for 50, but... Oh, but it does come. Giggity. <laughs> this is a podcast where we talk about music, movies, video games, and everything else under the sun. Yeah, all nooks and crannies in your Grammys. You we, know? Don't, we don't like to keep ourselves in a box. No. We, we, th- we like to think outside the bun. Dude, remember that? When that was Taco Bell's slogan? Yeah, like, TB Throwback Thursday, you know? That was it like fourth meal or whatever? Is yeah, that, or is something that so like 12th mayor. mayor. 12th mayor. Come here. 12th <laughs> mayor. Uh, no, it's probably like the sixth meal though because everybody's eating like huge quantities of food nowadays. I, I had know Taco Bell for dinner last night. What? I had Taco Bell for dinner last Did night. Did you? Did yeah. you get the Cantino bowl? No. Because you appreciate your body? No, I got <laughs> No, I don't actually. I got a steak quesadilla. Ooh, steakadilla. A Mexican pizza because that's one of the best items on the menu. Hola. Two soft taco supremes. Did you put them all down? Yeah. Oh, like, and, with, like some fucking twink glasses. And a cheese burrito crunch because that's also like one of the top menu items. You got some props, bro. Yeah. I don't know how you can fit all that in your body. It's really not that much, to be honest. True, like, true. I've seen skinnier guys eat uh, lots of food. Like uh, the one dude that Kobayashi. Taking down dogs at their dicks, you know, just <laughs> hangover references forever. And ever, you'll be in my fridge and I have a hand cramp. We have nerdshed.net. That's where you can go and get more information about us and watch the latest episode and all that kind of stuff. And that has links to our Facebook. You can go on there and like us. And uh, we give updates about. <laughs> <laughs> we give up for some reason. Like I Ray always, Charles. I always pause during that part. Like, like, <laughs> it always happens. Just Ray Charles in the background. Speed it up. <laughs> um, Synth. Facebook. You can like us there. We post updates about like us. when a new episode is posted, and we like post memes sometimes or polls every once in a while. We haven't done a poll in a we while. We haven't. We should do that starting uh, Monday morning for we the should- next up. We should do a poll about what people's favorite polls are. <gasps> Pollception, dude. Can we have a pie chart of polls? Yeah, like we're talking telephone polls. Oh, uh, pole stripping vaulting. polls. Stripper polls. Yep. Um, North pole, south pole. Yeah. Yep, by polls. Learn. <laughs> by polls. By polls. <laughs> <laughs> and and that- it applies for gay people, too, because it's by polls then. Or over there just they, doing a little skiing. That'd be bisexual and not gay. It's. Oh, are, are you one of those people that thinks lawyer. that bisexual people are just no. secretly gay and they don't want to admit it? No. I, whatever. You do you, boo-boo. <laughs> I don't care. Way it doesn't not, bother me. Way to not want to debate about that one. Yeah. You're like, no, I'm cool. Because I'm a non-master debater. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Um, do you ins- wanna- Instagram. Oh, it, go on to Instagram, Gam. So good. I'm going to start posting on there, too. Yeah, we, that, now that we both have access to yeah, it. Yeah, that's why I asked you for login info, because I've never had it. So Yeah. I feel like with two of us, we might actually post something on there At least once a week. <laughs> once a week. We get busy lives, though. Like, you know, it's hard trying to be a stepfather on top of working, like, a full-time job, which you know all about, driving around and shit, and then, like, it's, it's just nonstop. You, you run out of time in the day. Yeah. Yeah, it, or you just fall asleep and nap it out, so I don't have to do I don't really nap too often. To I be don't honest. either. Cause I like, can't, like when the sun's up, I have a hard time sleeping. <laughs> I can I can pretty much sleep whenever I choose to, but I don't because it makes people upset if I do. So you can't <laughs> sleep for fifteen hours a day. I can, but I won't. Six hours max. Yeah, I feel like six hours is my sweet spot. Like anything more than that. I just feel like I have to go back to sleep because I'm too tired. I didn't get woke up out of my fucking REM process or something. REM. Choosing my religion. No, it's choosing, (laughs) not losing. I want to be agnostic. (laughs) 
Oh. Did I forget to say anything? Uh, you talked about the Instagram, the website. Um, if you guys want to send us some cool emails, oh, you yeah, know, Nerd email. Shed Podcast, the, the Nerd Shed Podcast at gmail.com. Yes. Don't forget the T H E. We've probably gotten so many emails, but like they've gone to the wrong email address. <laughs> <laughs> like we keep emailing you guys. Oh, your computer just did like a glitch. But we cool. We yeah, cool. It's, it's cool. still it's still crumbing. It wouldn't be the first episode where it just like fucking crashes. Right <laughs> Nor will it be the last. <laughs> right. We're gonna make a supercomputer out of hamsters. Dude, that'd be sweet. Go with me on this. We're gonna get like twelve wheels. Go to Petco. We're gonna save those little buggers, and then we're gonna feed them chocolate all day. Make them super hefty. Give them diabetes, then make them feel bad about themselves. Work off the weight. Well, run our power. The only problem I have with that is like, don't hamsters only live for like three months at the max? Yeah, we're gonna have to have a large inventory. We're gonna have to have a little hamster farm out back. <laughs> like one of them gets too big, just Dude, what if shotgun we made, like, to the face. A super hamster, like we and its little hamster bottle thing. We put some creatine in there and oh, get it a weight bench. Just, like fucking the, the biggest, out. most ripped hamster. You can <laughs> just walks out and just punches holes in the cage. Give me your water. Bites a hole in the side. Just. All of it gone. Like I am Elga. <laughs> I named my hamster Helga. It's a German hamster. Yeah. No, no, she's Swedish for all my Swedish fans. <laughs> all twenty of you. <laughs> Twenty-four that have listened one time. Thanks. Yeah. How do you know it's not one person that has just listened? Oh, or times? thank you, one single person that's listened to us twenty-four times. Appreciate it, Sven. <laughs> I don't know. Is that stereotypical? Because yeah, it is. No, like, do they talk about like people in America? Like, gonna... oh, what's up, John? <laughs> Michael? <laughs> hey. Where's your email? Not everybody in Sweden is named Sven. My name is Johan. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mess with the Johan, you know? <laughs> oh, see what I did there? My name is Eric. Okay. Arik. Balaki. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Thien. <laughs> you want to um, talk about your? Dollar General experience? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to go into it, like, too far, just because I don't want to... I'll, I'll go into it. It's not a very long story, but it has a point. Okay. And I can't stand idiocy. Okay, <laughs> anyways, I had to go to Dollar General yesterday. Shameless plug. But anyways, <laughs> went in there, had to go get a grill brush, walking through the aisles. Out of nowhere, this little kid just, like, cuts me off. And by little kid, I mean, he's, like, 12, but he is the size of a 17-year-old. So, he's a big kid. And he just, like, walked right out in front of me as I was walking down the aisle. Like, you're supposed to stop, look both ways. This is like a traffic scenario. Right lane, left lane, merging, okay? No, he just fucking... Pff, I had to stop. I had stuff in my hands. This is like a semi-truck. You can't stop it on a dime. I'm going to stumble. So <laughs> I fucking tripped to the side a little bit. I was like, all right. He didn't even say sorry. Just walked. And he's like, Mom! Go read cards with your mom or something. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm done with this kid forever now. Oh no, I get up to the register. I'm getting ready to cash out. I'm standing there. Got my little grill brush in my hand. I try to swipe it across. I can't do that because I'm not a employee. But anyways, <laughs> this kid comes up, starts reading a magazine right behind me. And it's the same fucking kid. Of course they would get in line behind me. Oh, of course. And he starts reading this magazine. He's like, who is J.R.R. Tolkien? And I just wanted to like belt it out. I'm like, oh... He's uh, the Hobbit Master, so... You know who J.R.R. Tolkien is, right? No. Lord of the Rings, bro? He was the guy that wrote every single one of those? I never knew who wrote those, to be Okay, honest. well, mm. difference, it's going into this. His mother replied, I think she's the girl that wrote Harry Potter. Oh, my God. I just stood there and shook my head. Because, I mean, you know, most people are probably like, oh, it's whatever, I don't care. Like, no, you fucking knowledge is power, and you're going to have a dumbass for a son. Because he's there. Nice. So, little Michael John, whatever your name was, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> and that's my story. Well, that's also the parents' fault, because like, the parents obviously... Oh, no, I wanted parents. to smack her more than the kid at that point. I was yeah. like, you're just feeding him false info, aren't you? Like, you're probably one of those people that goes around and says, I don't vaccinate my kids because of autism. Booey on your face. Which also is a sex move in India. A little fooey on your face? <laughs> I can't believe that. I think that's <laughs> the girl that wrote Harry Potter. Like, no. No, like, even at that point, you should know who, like, J.K. Rowling is. Yeah. Even just, like, Harry Potter, much bigger than Lord of the Rings. But Lord of the Rings was fucking huge ten years ago. Right. 
Like, if you've never heard of this name, don't talk about it like you know about it. Hmm, bitch. Hmm. I'm sorry. I don't that's use like, that word often, but. <laughs> that's like, if it was like about the movies and like the kid was like, mom, who's Peter Jackson? Like, yeah. that's the equivalent of her going, I think that's it's the a... singer that sang Beat It. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, essentially, the exact same scenario. Somebody right. that has nothing to do with anybody. Not even the same sex. Different. Right. Or we're not assuming genders here, but still. Yeah. Blasphemy. Absolute blasphemy. I cannot stand. These are the future leaders of America, though. Fucking peasants. <laughs> Every time, man. Oh, remember those little candy dispensers? The peasant dispensers? Pez, for yeah. short. Mm -hmm. Pez that, stands for peasant. Yeah, because oh, really? of how cheap those things were, man. $1.19, you're just going to eat it out of a little person's mouth. It's a peasant. They chew the food for you? Just like you birds. Bomba bird. I never actually used like the dispenser. Like I would just no, I would just unravel, unravel it and, and just put them into my hand, and then I would just shove the whole pack in my mouth and just sit there and open it like I was eating it. You have to enjoy it. You can't put the whole pack in your mouth at one no, time. No, bro, you live free, do, like, die harder. You know, you have to eat like one or two at a time to enjoy it. I enjoy just letting them soak inside of a nice water base and then just drinking the chewy Pez water. Chalky. I used to do that with uh. I can't remember now. Some Fine type brain. of candy. Uh, Jolly Ranchers? No, not Jolly Ranchers. You did have a lot of Jolly Ranchers at your house at all times, usually. I think it might have been like Spree or Sweet Tarts or something like that. Oh, there's like a good possibility. I don't think I've ever witnessed you do this, though, so that must yeah. be like a deep, dark secret that just came out. Like, yeah. I used to yeah. fuck up my water. I, I only did that in private. <laughs> yeah, you know? I used to light things on fire, then eat the flame. Ooh. Yeah. That's why I didn't have beard hair until I was 22, because I finally realized that was the cause. <laughs> Doesn't grow if you beard. A bird. Dude, I saw bird. a video of a guy. This was like totally just a random thought. But That's like you okay. said fire in the mouth and it made me think of it. This guy <laughs> like tried to do like the like fire blowing thing. So yeah. he poured gasoline into his mouth and tried uh, to do I don't it. I don't think it's gasoline. I think it's like a fucking like they can get the vapor and the liquid from it. Like well, butane might be that. Could be. Either or is extremely bad to put inside of your body. No, I'm pretty sure this guy, though, the video I saw was gasoline. Oh, there's a good and, possibility. I'm not going to lie. And he tried to, like, do, like, the fire blowing thing, but then, obviously, the, residuals. The, the inside of his mouth caught on fire. So then he tries to, like, he went back to, like, his child form and tries to stop, drop, and roll. But <laughs> While your face is on that fire. That doesn't do anything when the flame is inside No, you. you just take your head, put your hands down to the ground, and just fucking over and over <laughs> again whack it. Like, you're beating it with a dirty towel. Yeah. Oh, name him on the streets. Dirty towel. <laughs> mm. That's Krusty Sock over there. Dude, these are some sweet names. Right? <laughs> like Krusty Crab. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, where can we go from here? Uh, can we uh, shoot into uh, some celeb sadness real fast? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, uh, Will lost one of the greats this, uh, what was it, two days ago? As we're recording this on Saturday. And uh, Peter Mayhew, who was known as playing the Chewbacca character in all of the original Star Wars, has passed away finally at the age of 72. Not finally, but I mean, <laughs> I don't think anybody really anticipated him to live as long as he did because he was seven foot two and he had Marfan syndrome, which is where people get like super tall and super lanky. See, I heard that he didn't have a condition and that he was just a large man. See, I, I read on there that he also suffered from Marfan syndrome, so... Which would yeah, make sense. Yeah, I mean. which explains why he is over seven foot tall and yeah. extremely skinny, and yeah. probably had some back medical problems. Like, just think of, like, a Great Dane, but human. Right. Like, they have to eat with their bowls raised, too. <laughs> you never know, you don't want the tummy to flip. <sighs> but yeah, super sad. We're gonna miss you. I can't do it, so that's a really bad rendition, and but I'm so sorry. What what was the last Star Wars he was actually in? I, I he didn't do any of the I can't remember which last one because it was I heard I'm, the, I'm pretty sure the Force Awakens was when they changed I think if I remember correctly. yeah I'm pretty sure like all the way up to like Phantom Menace and like the fucking Empire well not Empire Strikes Back that's the originals but those three and then the three after that I think he was okay. Chewie and all those and then after the new ones they they have enough technology to where they can just CGI parse it's a dog face. <laughs> It's a front butt. And Breaking Bad. Oh, Breaking Chad. Badger. You know Badger? His name was Brandon Mayhew. I wonder if they... they uh, Some relation of some sort. Well, I was just thinking... How was like, it spelled? The, the writers were inspired by Star Wars for his name. How was it spelled? M-A-Y-H-E-W? 
or M A Y H U G H. I honestly don't know. Or Brian May. Queen. Yeah, that's the guitar player from Queen. Exactly. He wasn't Brian May. Hugh. Mew. <laughs> What's up, Hugh? <laughs> My mom calls me Hugh. Yeah, I figured after that one post on Facebook she did. But hey, well, chill. Uh, excuse me <laughs> just because her boyfriend's name is matt too so like when we're both around and she says matt it gets confusing so yeah he's matt stories. and i'm hugh you could be m and m2 because Cause m2 sounds super sick like you're a fucking bmw <laughs> like what's up well, when i was younger when i was younger i was like how come people named matthew only go by matt the first four letters and they never go by hugh the last Three letters. <laughs> the, you said this a long time ago? Yeah, I was probably like eight, maybe. So I like how that like And now like 20, about. 20 years and later. And people are making memes. Circle. Like you could have been a genius 20 years ago and nobody right. would have appreciated I it. I was making memes before memes were a thing. My life was a fucking meme. <laughs> Every single bad luck, Brian. Me. <laughs> Those are based on my life. Yeah. Uh, sad seal. Me. My name's Thad. Speaking of sad, smooth segues and unhappiness. Look at you becoming a broadcaster with your smooth transitions. Oh, so smooth like Gillette. Makes the body good. Sponsor me. <laughs> Shameless pugs. The best a man can get. Yeah. If not, it could be the second. Because I'm the best. Oh, that sounds weird now that you say it out loud. No. No. I'm not the best a man can get. No. we're not. I'm just fucking... <laughs> you fucking wish... Sassy Cleopatra. I'm Foxy Cleopatra. Anyway, what were and I'm you a whole lot of to? sadness. What's up? What were you gonna go into now? Oh, the some... unhappiest of meals. If you wanna oh, smooth yeah. into that one. Okay, so um, Burger King. Twisty. In order to, um, hold on, oh. CNN. I don't want to subscribe to you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody they, wants to. Burger King is gonna troll McDonald's, but also do a pretty cool thing at the same time. They're making unhappy meals because you're not happy all the time you know no that that's a fictitious thing to put in kids brains like hey you have to be happy constantly eat this meal you'll be good so it's going to be a whopper meal box oh that does not seem for like a child i have never seen a child put down a whole whopper well well, i don't think this is for children because oh it's it's just for in general they're putting all everything in the boxes yeah and it's just gonna be uh I'm trying to find what's... For, I know it's for, like, to bring awareness to mental health and stuff. Yeah, the unhappy. But, it, well, it, you said on the box it says not everyone's happy all the time. Yeah, yeah, no one is happy all the time is what the box says. And there's yeah. going to be five different ones, I believe. Um, yeah, so you're going to have a red box that's the pissed, the pissed off box. So if you're pissed, <laughs> you get the red box. The blue box for sad, because you're feeling a little blue. They're going to have um, a teal box for if you're salty, like if you're... AF. Being bitter about something, you know? I'm so bitter. They're going to have the Yaz one, which is in purple, which I don't know what that's with being unhappy because, like... Yaz. Yaz. Yaz, like a... Yaz, Glenn. Yeah, yeah I thought, that's what I thought. Unless it's the Y-A-S, then... Yeah, I don't know. Apparently, I haven't been unhappy long enough to... Oops. Sorry. Oh! I do not mean to Them funky that. fucking 90s beats they got going on, I'm, though. I feel like I'm about to watch an infomercial for work. I'm trying to see if, like, the Yaz box is shown in the video... Um. Yes. I don't know. It just has like almost like an open mouth with teeth on the box. So I don't know what that's supposed to be for. Yeah, that's. But then the last one's my favorite. Oh, that must be like the happy box. Maybe, but the last one's my favorite, which is the DGAF box that's in black. DGAF. Yeah. Don't give a fuck. Do not give a fuck. That's box, good. You is... know what? They're trying to relate to more people now. Like I. I haven't well, ate at Burger King in like the probably last eight years by choice, just because I don't like the taste of their. I, I mean, I don't really dude, eat oh, fast food a lot anymore, so yeah, I don't really either. Like, I know I just said I ate Taco Bell last night. Yeah, but, but that's like a once a month maybe thing yeah. that we do or something. But uh, Burger King, like a Whopper Junior, every once in a while isn't bad. No, I mean I can handle it every now and then. It just sometimes. But like, yeah, it is one of those things. Like if I do just want something quick and easy. It's not my first choice. I, I'm not ever. like, let's go to Burger King. Yeah, but I would support them in this endeavor, hoping like you know more businesses would do this along the way. Okay, I just found the paragraph. Oh, so are you gonna paraphrase it? They're launching these meals on Thursday, um, which is the start of Mental Health Awareness Month. 
They've partnered with a nonprofit organization, Mental Health America, to promote the overall mental health of Americans. I can stand behind that. But this is only going to be in Austin, Seattle, Miami, LA, and oh, New York that's, City. So. That's kind of unfortunate. They're only limiting to a few yeah. cities. So it's basically a publicity stunt at this yeah. point. Like, if you would roll that out across every single place you had, granted, it's going to be a lot of money, but like, you're still shedding awareness on serious shit. Right. And I like that. I commend them, but I wish they would have gone all the way with it. What I like is there's so many people out there now that bitch about like millennials because they're ruining everything but yeah. then you have companies like this so you can see they're clearly targeting stuff towards millennials because they know that those are like the bulk of their customers yeah like well hey like if you're on the run and you needed something you're not going to go home and cook food at the age of 20 right most people don't even most adults don't you're just going to stop at mcdonald's burger king or something and if you can kind of relate to them even in the slightest bit like one percent more than mcdonald's they'll probably end up picking you over that Totally just smacked my mic. That's all right. Bish. Biatch. Biatch. <laughs> Keep my pimp hand strong. Ooh. <laughs> Katomate. Go ahead this way. Blue Hawaii. <laughs> oh, we're going to have a short one today, eh? No, we still got a lot to do. Yeah! <laughs> Why do you always want to make them short? I feel like uh, they, everybody has the attention span of me. Oh. So after about five minutes, they're like, oh, let's listen to something else. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not the case. I hope not either. Hopefully my ADD will trigger your ADD and you'll be enthused. And if not, then I'm sorry for annoying you. So, um... Jokes, I'm not. This is something I don't know if you saw that uh, um, Epic Games purchased Rocket League. What? Yeah. I have. Are they gonna fucking do an Epic Pass for this now? I have not seen this. When did this happen? I just saw it two days ago, I think it was on GameSpot. Epic I know, games I know are the take, same people that's producing Borderlands, right? I think so. They're, I know the only thing I saw, like in like the little synopsis of the article, was that they're taking it off Steam. I know that. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of people pissed yeah. off then because <laughs> they just. I mean, they've had crossover with Steam, but they just integrated where you can play PS4, Xbox Three, or Xbox One and uh pc like all cross, together cross yeah. platform yeah. You, they have their own rocket ideas and shit so you can make your own name on it and then search for any friend on any platform okay well that's fucking gonna be gone for the pc players granted pc and console players there's usually a fucking decent sized transition between the two like most pc players a lot better yeah you can if you have a fucking 1200 hundred dollar modded system like you're gonna be able to have a faster reaction time because it's a tiny bit better, but not at the. We've talked about this like fucking yeah, within the first to, ten yeah. episodes or something. Like yeah, it's not going to make that. that much of a difference, but if you can have a good connection, and computers will usually pick up. Like I, I know my Xbox drops fucking a lot. Just packet loss, bandwidth connection loss. Oh, cool, nothing. It's also that internet out by us. <laughs> <sighs> Spectrum. Get out to here. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Yes, yeah, Doctor and Spectrum. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Spectrum though. We had Spectrum for a while, and it's good, but they try to screw you because they'll be like, "Oh, well, you can get this two-year contract for thirty bucks a month, but then after two years, your bills can go up to seventy-five." And it's like, yeah. Well, they also, well, they, I think they do the month to month now. Do they? Yeah. Okay. To where you can just pay. I think it's like forty dollars a month for hundred megs. That's not bad. No, not at all. Because they were trying to get everybody was switching out of when it was Time Warner because of how much they were charging but for everything. Internet and Time you, Warner you was fucking with... terrible. Yes, dude. it was like, so bad. Like it wasn't bad when it first came out because it was better than the other shit that we had. But when you realize that there's more companies that knew what they were doing better, oh no! Well, game even over. Time Warner Cable, like literally, I'd be watching a show and it would just freeze. And then, like, I would have to power down everything and then turn it back on. And then it would work again for a couple hours. Like it was hot. <laughs> Blowing some clouds over there, bro. Secludes, bro. Secludes. <laughs> Give me some paper towels real fast. I'll just crumble it up. and <sighs> I had a ball. <laughs> you want to play Quidditch? Dude, that'd be sick. Would be. Except... Nobody wants to see grown men running around on brooms while their feet are still planted on the ground and throwing little balls at each other. Dude, let's do a LARP just <gasps> in my backyard. Yes, but not right now because it's super moist and we're probably going to get caught in the swamp. 
That's the best time to do it. Oh, I can't. Can I go get my ghillie suit? I don't have one, but I'll get one. <laughs> I, did uh, not I like know the of, look you just gave. I, me. I know of a lot of good army surplus stores. Actually, I don't. I've never bought anything from there. So. Dude, I got four. There's groups. one up in Brook Park. Oh, it's too it's, far. Well, for you, not for me. It's like 20 minutes. <laughs> um, it's a what is it? Cowabunga, dude. I can't remember. Some military type. surplus thing. Well, it, it's not military surplus. I think it's like a Coast Guard type thing. Oh, okay. So some sort of. And you can go there and you can buy everything at cost. And they have they have a full liquor store and like beer and wine. You can get a 30 pack of PBR for like $10. Holy shit. Yeah. But the only catch is you have to have a military ID to like be able to get in. Ah, uh, that's where it gets cut off. Yeah, but that's you, fucking classist. Like, just because I didn't go to the military doesn't mean I can't shop at your store, right, bitch? But yeah, you can get like a forty dollar bottle of vodka for like half off. Like, Ooh. that's dope. That's <laughs> that's what it's gonna be after that half a bottle of vodka. Half off. <laughs> hey, <laughs> apply directly to the forehead. Half off. Dude, so this Dude. A- Avengers Endgame movie. Oh, don't even we, we dare talk about, about it. I'm seeing it today. With the children. But this is my thing. Opening weekend, it makes $1.2 billion. Didn't it, like, already smash every single record? Yeah. So, like, they knew this thing. one's going to be a doozy. Here's my thing, though. When you do that, just go out on top. Just stop making them. That, this is that's their, your legacy. That's their last one. Well, I know for Avengers, but, like, I'm just talking about Marvel overall. Just. True. They knew Avengers was going to come to an end, like, sooner or later, just because you can't fucking keep having them going. It's not a TV sh- like, show. Yeah. No series can last seven years in movie form. Well, but, Walking Dead is trying that, and you see where yeah. that is. <laughs> yeah, they... It, I heard after, like, the, I've never seen Walking Dead either. Dude, Walking Dead... I've seen, like, maybe a half an episode. Walking Dead, it was, like, really, really good. And then the story then just broke just, apart. Yeah, and then they just tried to start doing too much, and... Like, I'm sure you remember, like, three or four years ago, like, that's all anybody was talking about. Yeah, like, like they had a Talking Dead and shit, like, after the show, just to talk about what happened on the episode. And now (laughs) nobody's talking about it, like, at all. No. Because you kill off your main character, like... You fucked up! Like, people get attached to characters, you can't, you have to know... I'm pretty sure at this point, like, there's only, like, two people from, like, the original first season still on the show. Yeah, I know, it's it's gone down way, way downhill since. Just like Cool Runnings. Oh, dude, every time, man! (laughs) It's my lucky egg! (laughs) Did you know, because of that movie, I always carry an egg in my sock. But that's what, uh, Breaking Bad did. Like, Breaking Bad, that's what Vince Gilligan said, is he said, we didn't want it to go on forever, we didn't yeah. want to draw it out, we made it the best that we could, and then we just stopped. Yeah, instead of doing, like, quality or quantity over quality, just compress it down. Give us, like, a full season, you might have 26 episodes, lower it down to, like, 15, make it to where people can keep up with each character as they fucking yeah. start to evolve, and blossom. Yeah, because that's the thing, too, with the Marvel movies now, like... There's yeah. so many arcs and everything, like, it's gonna get to the point where it's, like, unmanageable. Like, yeah, well, I mean, unless you live literally, like, followed Avengers and literally, like, every movie leading up to, like, Captain Marvel, well, that's the newest one, but then Captain America, Iron Man, Spider-Man, all these things are just twisting into one, and it's it's gonna get out of hand, so I'm yeah. happy they chose this time to, like, stop it. And I'm really sad, too, because I found out that they don't have a fucking trailer at the end because this is the last yeah. one. So they're like, yeah, we people are just sitting around waiting, probably. And they're like, right. the girl never came. But yeah, that's where um, we're about. Have you heard any spoilers yet, or have you avoided them all? Um, I've heard some spoilers, mostly because uh, Jacob came home one day and says, can we watch uh, Avengers Endgame? And we're like, oh, yeah, you want to see? He's like, yeah, one of my friends at school said, saw it, and he just told us, like, two things. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I was like, "Do not spoil this movie." I've been waiting for the past like twenty movies for this. It's... No. Oh, Jess so... almost yelled at him too, just because we did not. So... She she's dived into it too. So, so I'm on Facebook <sighs> reading a news article about something. I can't remember what it was, but then like I just 
It was something about politics, and I, I don't like politics. It drives me crazy. But whenever I see a news article about politics, I read the comments. Yeah, just to see what everybody's just because talking. I go down that rabbit hole, just like seeing like all these people like, <laughs> just arguing back and forth and calling each other stupid. And Oh, did you get one of those assholes on there that specifically put it on there just so people would see it? So, so this person writes, and I'm not going to say any spoilers, don't worry. Okay, good. So, th- so they write like, something about... Yeah, this is a big problem, blah, blah, blah. But then just in the middle of the sentence, just spoiler, 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 and then continued on with the sentence, then did another sentence about, we could fix this by blah, 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 spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. And I was just like, that's fucking hilarious, because people are going to be reading that, not knowing what they're reading until after they already read it. That... So then, like, that's the thing is people were replying to it, and, like, a lot of people were saying, like, ha-ha, I see what you did there, good one, like, laughing about it. And there's this one person at the very end that goes, why the fuck did you do this, you stupid mother? Like, really pissed off like, and just went on this giant rant. I can <laughs> kind of lightweight understand why people would be pissed off, just because if you, like, say you put, a, like, a whole entire house of cards together, took you, like, three weeks to do, you sat there, put fucking thousands of hours of time into it, and then somebody just comes up and like, ha ha, flicks one and just everything fucking goes. Like, I've been building up to this moment this whole entire time and you took it from me. Yeah. That's that's the only way I can relate is just that kind of nonsensory. Like, I mean, I get it's <laughs> funny because, you know, trolling is all about life now. Yeah. But leave, leave Brittany alone. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, Thane. <laughs> Time out? Uh, little do you know, I just pissed everywhere underneath this little desk right here. That is awesome. <laughs> Total hurl! Oh, is that window open, by the way, or did I close it? Okay, I closed it. Cause it's, it's totally closed. I was oh. freaking out yesterday, and I just thought about it now when I looked over here. I saw the curtain move a little bit. I was <gasps> no, freaking out yesterday I when, when I was at work, and it started raining. I was like, <laughs> oh, well, there shit. goes my whole entire studio. Yeah. <laughs> it just come in here in, like, four inches of water. Like, that seal Yo, gets built or, up. like, I feel like a groundhog's going to, like, crawl up the wall. He'll just and swim just, in and just yeah, fucking, oh, beaver in and out. He just, like, morphs <laughs> into a, a little beaver, because that's how animals work. Yeah. Yeah, like Evolution. horses. Horses, when they have a really bad cough, turn into giraffes. <laughs> and it's just like necros all the way up. <laughs> oh my god. That's some good stuff right there. Wholesome family fun for every fucking person here. Now it's not wholesome. So, uh. Wholesome. Okay, what's up? Did you watch the trailer for the Sonic movie? I did. I got a tiny bit happy, and then I saw Sonic, and I got a tiny bit sad. I didn't think it's as bad as no. Everybody's everybody making was making be. it seem like he was fucking part dog, part boy, and I was like, no, <laughs> part, he, part it's boy dog. What's up, cat dog? Cat dog. <laughs> Want to look at him? <laughs> okay. Anyways, yeah, I didn't think it was awful. I mean, they, you're gonna have it's gonna be different than what you see on the video games. It always is, right? Every single time. It's not like the game company that made that game. It's like, oh hey, let's fucking make a movie. See what happens. Very few times does that happen. And then it actually looks like it. But no. Yeah, I I don't know. Like I'm I'm borderline on it right now, but after what they said as of yesterday, I'm starting to lean towards more Well, that gives me hope too, that whole situation, because I feel like they like if they're willing to go back and change like redesign Sonic and go through you know that hours of footage yeah like to they put together have them, to like basically re-edit the entire movie yeah like i feel like they know it's a solid movie yeah like they're, they're actually putting the time and effort into it plus jim carrey is just gonna fucking stomp the yard with all of his absolute greatness yeah. i feel like this might be his movie where people are saying like oh it's gonna be so bad it's gonna be good like there's really not that many movies that i've seen with jim carrey in it that i've hated right absolutely hated like Every single time you see him in a movie, the unfortunate events, Lemony Snickets, played yeah. a great character there. He fucking, what was the other one? Kick-Ass, you played yeah, that Kick-Ass, one yeah. superhero. I can't remember his that, name. It's been so long since it's I It's not Captain those, America, but... but something similar-ish. Yeah, he's... Uh... Like, I didn't even know it was him in the beginning because it did not look like him. He's like a super method actor or something. Yeah, I feel like he's also gone, like, because before, like, back when he first came out, you know, like, he was, like, Ace Ventura. And, yeah, like, he, he has just, these characters. He was just over-the-top goofiness, and I feel like he's 
been able to morph like all that goofiness into like he can do other stuff and like get into these other characters. Yeah, like, like he can fully dedicate himself to whatever it is. Like Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, that movie is fucking good. Yeah, he was in that movie. Yeah, yeah but still, like he can play serious roles. He can play funny roles. He can yeah. like, creative. Did you? I think we've talked about this on the show before about the number twenty three. Yeah, that's a great fucking movie. So that's one of those movies that I really enjoyed, but like. I feel like a lot of people shit on it because like, that was the first movie where Jim Carrey wasn't Jim, Jim Carrey. Carrey. Yeah, like, oh, you branched out, so automatically. Like, were you pissed off when The Rock broke out and started doing movies instead of yeah. wrestling and touching people's testicles? <laughs> no, no. You're like, oh, yeah, he's got muscles. That's it. Like, why don't you just appreciate all these actors that are really good at what they do and let them do it in other ways without shitting on them? Did you like Me, Myself, and Irene? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I thought that was a great movie. Dude, I fucking love that movie. When I first watched this movie, I was with my parents, and they didn't know about the uh, titty-sucking scene. Yeah. That cat caught me off guard. I didn't know what that... I thought that's what people, like, adults did in their spare time. Like, <laughs> is this what sex is? You just suck on boobies? Apparently. Still to this day. It's the only way I fornicate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I got chubby, so I can do it to myself. Kid. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like to put like a little tube underneath of it with like a little milk pouch. And he has a show on uh, Showtime right now. Showtime. And I cannot remember what it's called. Oh, it's called Kidding. Oh, I don't think I've even... And it's kind of that. like a dark comedy and like... Okay. He's not typical Jim Carrey in that. Yeah, either. he's doing he's different more, roles. Yeah. Like it's... There's funny moments in it and stuff, but it's like kind of like a darker show. And yeah, like you have to have like a more twisted sense of humor to yeah. find appreciativeness in it. Yeah, but it's, it's pretty good. I watched the first few episodes. I haven't dove back into it yet, but there's a there's a few shows I want to check out as of recently. Check check check, check yeah. it out. Since we're on like you know the Netflix uh, kind of ish. Oops, I just totally grind throwing we, bows over here. You want to get into some Ben Tundy? Ben Tundy? Yeah, Ben Tundy. Yeah, the Zac Efron movie yeah. about Ted Bundy's life came out yesterday. I have not watched it yet. I have not. I saw the trailer on uh, Facebook, I think. Yeah, I saw it. the trailer a little bit ago. But He actually did not look like he played a bad Ted Bundy. Like, he was starting, because after we watched the Ted Bundy trials, wherever, those documentary, yeah, that four-part series. Yeah. After we watched that, like, his facial expressions, like, he must have studied the fuck out of Ted Bundy because he was, like, doing the exact same faces how he had. Yeah, I feel like... Like, the fucking wide-eyed and just... I was like, dude, kind of cool, though. Yeah, I feel like he looks very similar. Yeah, because, I mean, Ted Bundy was one of those... People are like, oh, I can't believe people thought he was good-looking. Like, at the time, like, they're different generations. People think people look good in different eras. That's how it works. So, at the time, like, he was, like, a business-looking dude, like, charismatic... Carried himself well, at least in conversations. Do a fucking psychopath. Going back oh. to Mental Health Awareness Month. <laughs> <laughs> you should probably yeah. contact somebody if you're killing little birds. But then, uh, it's for the birds. James Hetfield makes his acting debut in that movie, and I'm I'm not excited to see. It. I'm intrigued to, to see how he does. Right. Just because you only know James Hetfield from Metallica, and yeah. he is not often ever Neverland anymore. <laughs> I'm just hoping. Uh, Boom! Yeah, yeah, I'm just hoping that he has a line in there and just goes, "Yeah, that's what he's known for." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're off to never, never land. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> ah! Sorry for your eardrums. Fuck your eardrums. Metallica. I can do a Metallica mood every once in a while and throw on some jams. Uh, I will throw band. on some Metallica only if it's on like 100.7 or something, and it's just. I got burnt out too hard by the Metallica. Metal, Metallica and ACDC. Octasa. Yeah, Octus. dude. Octasa. Aquadigio. <laughs> Shameless plug yet again. That's what I'm going to name my daughter. Shameless plug? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> SP, come here. No. <laughs> ACDC. And Octus. then just call it Octasa. Octasa. What's up, sir? <laughs> sauna. A, a saw. <laughs> you want to go into the sauna and get really toasty? <laughs> Carne asada. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Bye. 
Oh, God, so good. Oh, hold on, ham? Oh, it's been a while. It has been a while for the ham. And boing, 747, you know, because they're <laughs> <Boing>. doing good. <laughs> Not, not uh, with the deluxe, whatever it's called. The... Yeah, I think last night they just had a Boeing seven thirty seven crash into a river that was from South America coming into Florida. Just fucking poof, right into one of the rivers. Every single person lived though. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I was like, oh, cool, you're doing that like drunk fucking airplane pilot again, dude. Movie, <gasps> Soul Plane. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> dude. Soul Plane was fucking good. <laughs> like, never did I thought a fucking plane with hydraulics would be so cool. Oh no! And then you got like Snoop. Was Snoop Dogg in that? Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure he was a pilot that yeah, he, like he ate an entire bag of mushrooms or something. Like yeah. That. Hey, bro. <laughs> Fucking uh, Snoop. Dizzle. Snoop. D O double. And we're also gonna take it back to Snoop Fizzle Televizzle. Remember that show? No. Oh my God. When was this? It was on MTV like mid 2000s. I think they had like one or two seasons of it, but it was just a show of like. Him doing random fucking Snoop Dogg shit. He talked and like gave you his slang and stuff and how to talk like Snoop and You just add Izzle to it. Or... Yeah, as it, everything. Yeah. Izzle. Yeah. That's why it was Snoop Fizzle. Tell the Vizzle. The shizzle. My nizzle. Oh, it, it, it actually <laughs> might have been a Snoop Shizzle. Tell the Vizzle. I fucking have no idea, uh, but it's very similar to that. But yeah, go watch up on it. If um, <laughs> is his game show still on that he was hosting? Who? Snoop Dogg, he had a game show that he was the host of. I right? did not fucking know that. Well, I know see. he hangs out with Martha Stewart and bakes some cookies every now and then, but that's yeah, about it. You know there's weed in those cookies. You know that Martha Stewart Oh, yeah. Dude, Ma Martha getting lit off, yeah. as the kids would say. You know, she buys, like, she, oh. she has her medical card, and she goes to the dispensary, and she gets that, like, high-quality shit. She probably owns one of the dispensaries. Probably. Yeah, well, call it Martha's, Martha's Munches. Martha's Medibles. Oh, I almost fell and died. Dude, you ever trip over a sidewalk and almost die? Yeah, so he has a game show on TBS called The Joker's Wild. I have never heard of this. Yeah. I didn't know fucking he had it. Oh, well, that's also because I don't have cable anymore, so yeah. I get lost in all these thingies. Oh, so it, it's a show from the 70s that they brought back. What's new, Doug Houston? Yeah, it went. It ran from uh, seventy-two to eighty-four, then eighty-four to eighty-six, then ninety to ninety-one, and then two thousand seventeen to the present. Holy shit! Like that's that's pretty impressive that you can bring a show back three times, I guess. Yeah. Dude, and who's what's gonna, who's gonna take Alex Trebek's spot on Jeopardy? You think oh. they're gonna get Ken Jennings to come host it? Uh, no, probably this new nerd that keeps winning every week. Did Dude, you hear about that? He's like like 1.2 million right yeah, now. Yeah, like he's already, I think, what, he's surpassed Ken Jennings? I, almost, or he's about to pass yeah. him in like a quarter of the time that it took him to do that. Yeah. I think there was a little snippet of an episode from a couple days ago. Some woman, I think they're doing Final Jeopardy or something, but the woman was like... Congrats, congratulations to this dude or whatever as her answer oh, and really? just started like crying. He beat her so bad, she broke. She broke fully. Well, that, that's a problem. Yeah, well, that's also fucking, you have shitty parents that didn't tell you no, so. Yeah, like, yeah, go home and eat your fucking alfalfa sprout fucking casserole or some shit. So, Where do you see my... Oh, is that a pregnant baby? <laughs> the son, you weird. <laughs> that's weird. I don't know what that have is. Have you seen but... that half man, half dog with the fucked up babies? <laughs> Floppy ears, eh? Um... So, Woodstock, is that happening or not? Uh, maybe. As of right now, like, everything's up I, in the air. Nobody, the people that have bought it, well, originally what, the tickets got pushed back from the original release date that they are going to drop, and that's when, like, all kinds of red flags were getting rose. Like, have you heard about the story at all and, like, why they're doing it? No. Okay, I will go into, a, like, a little, I did some research, but apparently... The venue that they had, where original Woodstock was, or something like that, they were predicting 60,000 people to show up. They were making, you know, necessities for everything. Come to find out, they also had to have spots for people to sleep, so they had to drop down that 60,000 to 45,000 people. Hmm. So that's automatic 15,000 people profit loss, gone completely. 
all these investors are just pulling out of Woodstock. Oh. So the guy that's throwing it, he still plans on doing it. He still wants to do it. He's like, it's wrong for them to say they canceled Woodstock because they're not the ones running it. They just help with the money. Oh. So he's like, yeah, it's still on. But my theory is like, how are you going to be able to, like, we're going to have another fire festival scenario where you yeah. guys got all these people's money, but you don't know how to fucking, you're not going to be able to find food for them. Like, what are you going to do for utilities and everything? You have to have electric. If you have no money, you can't run anything. Right. So that's where it's going to, it's all going to boil down to if you can get more people to invest back into it. Because I'm pretty sure all of them pulled out. Wow. Yeah, like headliners were starting to drop off of it and everything too. Bands were just pulling fucking left and right. Yeah, weren't the Black Keys the first band to pull yeah, out? Yeah, I think the, yeah. they had Black Keys fucking, what, yeah, the first day was Black Keys and stuff. And then the second day was, I think, more hip hop oriented but then jay-z was on sunday with like kg elephant and shit like every single band there crazy i think childish gambino was gonna be there too or that might have been Lollapalooza. but donald glover oh good old dg you know <laughs> glover's lane <laughs> glover's lane <laughs> yeah but mm, um, i'm well, spicy on the topic of music festivals have you seen the lineup for austin city limits i have not I, I, is this like a newer festival that they started because i have I never think, heard of this before i think it's been around for a while Oh, well, let's dive into this one. I'm seeing a lot of different fucking genres getting thrown up out here. Yeah, so headliners, we're talking Guns N' Roses, Mumford & Sons, Childish Gambino, The Cure. The Cure, bro! Headlining fucking then, 2019 shows! And then you know fans of The Cure are going to be excited about this one. Cardi B. Oh, always, every yeah. single time. And then even fans of Cardi B are going to love this next one yeah. even more. Billie Eilish. So yeah, see, we're crossing every single genre. And then Tame Impala. Tame Impala is actually. They're blowing up, dude. Dude, like, They're within the up. past two years, yeah. like, it went from, I think that, uh, boom, that, that super bassy song that I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called, but I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. And then a few other songs are just, like, fucking blowing. Yeah, and then... Robin with a Y. I've never heard of that. Yeah, me either. I don't. I don't want to assume if it's a person. It could be a band. We are Robin. <laughs> yeah, and like then, Batman. And there's some of these other ones. I'm not going to read all these because there's like a hundred bands on yeah, here. And I see Cave Flay. Yeah. Hippie Sabotage. Yeah, half of them I haven't heard of, but uh, I've we'll probably start heard. up here. Casey Musgraves, the country singer. Oh. Uh, the I've... Rack on Tours. Get your Jack Black. Yep. One. Jack Black. Um, Jack White. Gary Clark Jr., who I'm pretty sure you like. Was also doing like Lollapalooza. Yeah, and... he, Gary Clark Jr. is the guy that sang uh, "Come Together," that remake for yeah, uh... like the fifth remake of that song. Yeah, but I actually <laughs> liked his rendition really, really good too. Be just because it was like bluesy ish. I don't know. I think the original Beatles version is probably the best. D song nobody can ever touch the Beatles. But I feel like Aerosmith's version is like the biggest version that everybody knows. Oh, I forgot about that too. There, you know what? There've been too many now. <laughs> Now that you say them out loud, it just didn't happen till now. Lizzo? I don't know who that is. I don't either. That sounded like it was hurtful. <laughs> it was all right. Um, Tom York, Tomorrow's Modern Boxes. Oh, nice. Tom York. You know who Tom York is, right? No. Radiohead's lead singer. Oh, okay. Yep. Nice. That must be his like side project or something. James Blake. James Blake. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah. 21 Savage. Yeah. Um, Tyler... Childers? No, yeah, I don't know. No. King Princess? I don't know who that is. Third Eve? Eye Blind? Oh! I wish you would step back! Oh, dude! Another Jim Carrey movie. Yes, man. Yes, man! Yeah. We uh, could cut ties with all the lies you will be living in. Oh. Yeah, and I'm, now we're getting into the ones that, like, I really haven't heard of. Like, Judah and the Lions, sorry. Judah, uh, Hippie Sabotage is really fucking good. Never heard of him. You would like it. It's got yeah. them beats. K Flay is dope. Do you like K Flay? K Flay is pretty good. Yeah. Blood in that cut, you know? <laughs> it's strange. She did a song with Mike Shinoda, too. Really? Yeah. That's a different fucking outlook on life. Yeah. yeah I feel like after those names, like nobody else is going to stand out from anything. Yeah. Like <laughs> Scott no. Pilgrim versus the country. <laughs> We're going to take it one country at a time, not the world yet. Um. Fucking Robin. I get one of those Robin sandwiches. School of Rock is going to be there. You know, Jack oh. Black with all those 14-year-old kids. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's what it is, but... <laughs> Probably not. They just really like that movie. That's you just really saying. can't stop that School of Rock, you know? <laughs> the School of Rock! Yeah. yeah! Let's rock. Let's rock today. today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but yeah, we're going to tickle you right in the face hole. 
You ever just, you know. Which you can turn that noise in the sandstorm by Darude. All right, and then uh, we got 10 minutes left here. Do and then? Do you want to see how much, uh, I don't know, it really won't work because you can see my monitor, but okay. if we play the honest policy here. Oh, and I'll you look don't directly look, into your eyes. Okay. Because I want to see if uh, you know any of these slang words. I'll take a sip of my sippy juice. This uh, this high school teacher made a spreadsheet of all the slang that teenagers were using in his class, just so like he could kind of understand what they were talking about. Yeah. And now it's gone like viral. Oh well, hey, so. we'll see how it goes. I will not look at at those. All right. So the first term or saying is a force. Oh, like a force to be reckoned with. Riff. This uh I'm so confused. I, yeah, I looked a little tiny bit, but only at the top one. Well yeah, it just says and the thing I think why this went viral is because his definitions are like he makes it sound so proper. Oh so like okay. So is, he's trying to take it and then you know, adultize yeah, it. Yeah, so unnecessarily <laughs> excessive effort. Oh dude, I'm gonna give it a force. Yeah. Like exactly gravitational? Are you gonna have some G's going around a circle? I don't know. Well, I don't, you can't prove gravity, so there's a lot of people that don't think gravity even exists. Dude. You can definitely prove gravity. You ever go into a zero gravity or zero? Uh... Have you ever been on the moon? No, but oh. I have <laughs> had a malted milk ball one time, and they are essentially the same thing. Dude, whoppers! Whoppers! <laughs> dude, whoppers are dope, right? AF. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it. I almost dribbled, dribbled a little bit out <laughs> of that one. I giggled too hard and almost pushed out the piss. Um, what about bang 30s? Oh, like, instead of 40 ounces, there's 30 ounces now, and when they're smacking them, they're just <laughs> banging 30s, bro. This says to fight someone as in a physical altercation. Or, wait, bang 30s? Or are they talking about females in their mid-30s, and like, oh, you want to go some bang some 30s? <laughs> That's only, that, yeah. Or maybe they're uh, <clears throat> two boys, and they're just very well endowed. 30 inches with you know, knowledge bang, bang the 30s. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ever see a kneecapper <laughs> you ever try to run and your legs keep clapping that's Let's also see. a chubby problem um, beat your face I'm just gonna assume it's I'm gonna punch you in the face but no. probably not to apply makeup that's stupid why are no. you using different shit for different shit now this well, is why English is so confusing everybody's taking it and yeah. stupefying it yeah <clears throat> Bops. Oh, mm bops. Or bop it. Twist it. Huh? Spin it. Huh? Dude, bop it was sick. Dude, bop it was I, so I confusing. Never, like, no, I played with it like for like five seconds. minutes yeah. once a week, and that was about it. This says a modern, enjoyable song. Bops. Oh, like this song bangs, bro? I don't know, like... Are they bringing how, back like 50 I wish she had like it used in a sentence, because like, would you say, yeah. like, have you heard that new bop? Is yeah. that what you would say? Or the mm bop. Handsome, yeah. you know? Quit cheating. I'm, I was looking at the one we're on. I didn't read because I can't read. So jokes on you. <laughs> I can't weed. <laughs> My daughter's photo can weed. Um, this one's easy. This next one, Bauta. Uh, I'm a, I'm a finna kick his ass. Same thing. Yeah, yeah Bauta just means I'm about to. Um, yeah. Bread. About to make that money. Yeah, get that bread. Cheddar. Um, catch a fade. About to go hang out with the homies. Oh, and get you high. can also say hey, catch these hands, which I fucking oh, love. Oh, see, like, catch these hands <laughs> automatically. You know what that's about? Like, oh, you trying to catch these hands today, right? boy? Like, it just rolls off the tongue. And like, then people won't mess with you because, bro, I'm just going to give you like a really good heads up right now. You got like this big ass white hair just hanging down from the lip, and it's just. Is it, it's probably a dog hair. It is. It's on the other side. Did I get it? Okay. Golden one. You. Joe Brogan. The Joe Brogan experience. Um. Yeah, but some of these, like, I used ironically for a while, but then now I catch myself just saying them regularly. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, these sandals are a must if you go constantly on the go. <laughs> um, <laughs> clap back. Oh, that's just, you know, getting catch an attitude. Like, oh, you're trying to get all feisty with your words? This says... Uh, to respond to an insult with an equal or greater insult. Like, I'm about to clap back. Yeah, that's exactly what I just said, but not. Clapped. L stands for love. What about clapped? I've never heard that one before. I'm not, is it when people just, like, like getting this jumped? Says, this says a crazy person or someone who was punched. I don't know what those have to do yeah, with Yeah, I don't, I don't get it either. A cracky? Okay, 
you know are what a crack they, is? A crack is it somebody that does crack? This says someone who jewels or smokes. So you're a cracky. Uh, not a jewel, bro. It's the leaf. same exact shit. Leaf. I'm gonna leaf. <laughs> and then crossfade. Like, oh, like, like the band, band yeah. bro. Nice. Looking back at me, I see that I never really got it right. I never stopped to think of you. I'm all these wrap up here, things I can know where. This says. Oh, yeah, it does. Doubly inebriated. So is that like if you're like drunk and high? Probably. I, I thought that was just faded, not cross faded. See, I thought faded was just like Darth faded. Yeah, and they lost me. I don't like it. I like this one, dead ass. Oh, you dead ass motherfucker. Dumb? I don't know. This says, um, I am serious. Are you serious? May be used as a question or statement. Oh, like I'm dead ass serious, bro. Yeah. Oh, they just dropped the serious off of it. Serious yeah. snipe. <laughs> um, dead dogs. Which means it just says see dead ass. So like, that means the same thing. I guess. I, I don't know. Um, don't do me dirty. Don't do me like that. We all we all know what don't do me dirty yeah. is. Okay, like that's old. Yeah, like they, that's been around since mid eighties. Okay, yeah. a lot extra. Oh, like over the top. Yeah. Facts. Like, like a life. This or is a, like boop boop boop. No, like, ah! you say it, like like if someone was like. Dude, that new Avengers movie is dope. Oh, you like, could just be like facts. Like, oh, I you just like, uh, like, I, I, like I concur church. to the highest degree. Like church, like when someone says something and you like really agree with it, you say church. I thought it was preach. Say that too. Yeah, see, there's all kinds of different things. Yeah. Psst. Apparently, I don't hang out in the same hoods as you. My bad. Or you could just be a normal person and be like, for real, like, for real. Yeah. For Ever real. since that big ass hat, though. No. Yeah. <laughs> Finesse. Oh, I'm about to finesse this whole entire sandwich in my mouth. <laughs> or I'm about to, I'm fitting this whole sandwich in there. I don't know. Or like to do it with extreme precision. No, it means to steal. I'm about to finesse this car. Yeah. Oh, like we're going to go over there and just like do some fucking sick yeah. chin-ups on the back. And then you just used this one a few minutes ago, I believe. Finna. Oh, finna. I'm fitting to. <laughs> I don't know. Flexed on? Oh, like trying to step to? Uh, yeah, a verbal gesture of dominance. Oh, okay. Yeah, everybody's using that flexed on shit now, and I just, I don't, it makes me think of bodybuilders and like, yeah, cool what? steroids, tiny balls, what's up? The game? Oh, the rapper, dude. Yeah. He had some hits. Uh, no, this do, just says do, life. Do, 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 do. The game? Yeah, it just means life. I don't. Like, How live, bro, fucking everything around you at all times that you're talking about, our existence. Like, that's the game? Is oh. that saying that's life? Maybe. Oh. Maybe. That, that, that's um, life. Gassing or hyping? Oh, like, gassing somebody up, getting them all, you give them, like, a, a solid-ass pep talk before they do something? Yeah. Ballsy? Good job. Yeah, it says feeding one's ego. Yeah, see, I'm about that. I am a boot, this. Look at you. Canadian grass words. Got a blast. Uh, seminating randomly on people. <laughs> <laughs> Be right back, got a blast! <laughs> or, he worked for Tesla and is one of the people that's going up into the ships. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got a blast, SpaceX, bro. yeah. Oh, oh. SpaceX? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. You imagine how difficult it would be, like, fucking space? No. Just <laughs> No, space X. <laughs> okay, yeah. Spax. Yeah. What about the boring company? <laughs> Like, they dig holes? Yeah, the boring. <laughs> the boring company. Elon Musk's other venture. No, so, got a blast means I have to leave. Oh, like, so bippity boppity, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Is he from New Jersey? <laughs> um, Hardo? Dude, I totally got a Hardo when I go to the movies to see Avengers. <laughs> No, I hope not. They just dropped the end off. That just so. means someone's a try hard. Like they try too hard. Just call them a try hard. That's yeah. what it is. Why are you taking words that are already have been made? Like try hard is already a substandard for another set of words to somebody that's trying too hard in a game. High key. Oh, dude, I like the low keys. No, 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 no. High key means very obvious. Oh, like you gotta be low key. No, like no, no, don't be high key. Like she's a high key slut. I just like slurred that really. She's a high key slide. <laughs> I Sorry. forgot to take my Vaseline this morning and put it on my lap. <laughs> oh my god, that's a big spit puddle. 
Spit um, out puddles. Nickname on the streets. Hop off. Like a horse? Like, nay! Whoa. This means mind your own business. Oh, hop off, bro. All right, sorry. Sorry. I have ass. I'm dead. I'm literally dead right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're literally not dead. You're still alive, literally talking, you fucking literal idiot. <laughs> so that was amusing. Oh, that's... F- like, I was not. Yeah. I'm dead. I'm dead. Like, you got me so good. That's almost as bad as LOL. Like, nobody... <laughs> la- lots of love. Jams. Oh, I love uh, like. jellies and jams. So, <laughs> equals. We are equals yeah. here. An old enjoyable song. Oh, so, I like the new. So you have ones. you have bops, which are like the new hits, but then you have jams, which are the old hits. I think <laughs> you're getting so frustrated. By I it. am just because everything's getting so recycled. Um, I am literally dead right now. <laughs> John, Jean Claude Van Damme it means a thing, object, person, or place. So it's a noun. A John is a noun. <laughs> Fucking John! <laughs> Fucking John! <laughs> Are you a John? No, I'm a Stacy. Okay. All right, and then we had high key. Now we have low key. We, fucking low key has been around forever, and there's a hyphen in it, so fuck them. Do you think that... L-O-K-I. Is, no. Do you know key. if Loki is in the new Avengers? Uh, he is not. Oh, okay. He died in the last one. I ruined it, didn't I? Dude, you gotta say spoiler alert if you're gonna ruin a movie that's been out for two years. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Loki died. <laughs> I haven't seen the new one, so he might come back, you know, mischief. <laughs> what about, like, a flashback? He could be in a flashback, right? Or do they not do flashbacks in Avengers? No, movies? they don't do flashbacks, really. Oh, yeah, they're too good for that. Yeah, well, plus, you know, that fucking money yeah. hit their caps. <laughs> Can't have too many what stars. About, what about Big Mad? I know what Big Mac is. Like, you got me big mad right now. Not just a little mad. Like, I'm super mad. Yeah, it just means very mad. Over ecstatically mad. All right. Oh, there's a lot more. We don't need to do all this. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. Dude, we're already in too deep. Dude, we're at 62 minutes. <laughs> we yeah, can't they're... give them an hour and a half. We're... I have to pee. We'll just Rallies. Really okay, quick. find, find really some quick. golden boys, pony if, boy. If you weren't arguing with me, we could be done by now. It was only 10 seconds. Okay, I'll give you 10. All right. One. No cat. Uh, They enjoy dogs. No cap, not cat. Oh, that means they have no salary limit. <laughs> It means... Or they drink all their pops with no soda I mean, bottles. I'm serious, no lie, or for real. Just say for real. Right. <laughs> um, Nunya, that's been around. Why is that even yeah, on the list? Right. Um, on Blast, that's old. Uh, putting everybody on Blast right now, bro. Op. I opt out of doing this from now on. <laughs> um, OPP? I, oh, yeah, you know me. I don't know how to say that. Is it OPP? Like, other people's... No, op means playing the opposite side, or they're a snitch or an enemy. Like, so they're talking about gay people. Like then? Cardi B says that in a song. If you were oh. op, like if you're an enemy, oh, like an opponent. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they're just shorting um, words down. Now. Okay. Pull up or come through. Uh, I enjoy pulling up, and then I come through. No, that like means a drive-through window. No, an invitation. Like you want to pull up later. Well, I, yeah, I've heard pull up, come through. Like you want you trying to come through later. Yeah. I've seen I've seen enough movies. I don't uh, have friends. Put someone on as old. Rashing means to make fun of someone. Real one means a person you trust. Like yo, they are real one. Yeah, like we keeping it real. As run set. that is old. Yeah, run sales. Yeah, secured the bag. That's old. Um, Schlitty. Schlitty. Yeah. Hey, you, you, go back. Go back to the bathroom. You got a little shlitty on your whip. <laughs> Schlitty. Schlitty means a good time. So I'm, I'm feeling, guessing. I'm feeling schlit like that. I'm guessing that is a mix of shitty, like getting drunk and then lit. Yeah. Also. Schlit. Schlit. Schlitty, bro. Schlitty. Where my gentian? Um, SpongeBob references forever. Shish. Slaps, which is one that I've started using recently, and I'm really mad about my mad at myself about it like yeah, take it as it is as long as you don't you know use yolo <laughs> that's one of those things like i started saying it ironically but now i just say it all it's the turned time. to a problem now like like the song slaps yeah so just means, an abusive parent it just so. means of high <laughs> <laughs> if you're getting way, hurt at home call us you know let us make nobody it really dark yeah well we we'll keep it real here as they would say this yeah. list of they. 
Um, is this just one dude compiling all these lists? Like, yeah. how much time do you not have to teach and put lists together of what right. people say in your class? And then slay. Oh, dude, I'm gonna go slay with some fucking dragons. <laughs> Santa rides a slay. <gasps> he does, both differently, but hey. Um, and then smacks. I'm assuming, like, slaps? No, uh, smacks is a tasty treat. Like, dude, this Max. Like, let's see, uh, I thought you're slap sure they're was not good. saying snacks? Like snacks, because <laughs> that's what I say when I get snacks. But but no, because the snack is the next one, and Ooh. that's a person who looks good. Okay, so like, what about a dessert, a treat? <laughs> Can we have a tiny mid afternoon snack? Is that like a little person that looks good, and a tiny snack? Um, <laughs> Just a little snack. Take the L, the L train. Like take the loss. Like you 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 doing it, bro? Like yeah, you, take, you going down for us? Like just take that L. Yeah, willing to make a sacrifice. Okay. We're hovering around it, just like that board. Yeah. Uh, spill the tea. Oh, I like to spill the beans. <laughs> that means they gossip. That's exactly yeah. what... They just changed one word in it. And they're like, oh, hey, we got new things. Yeah. Spilling tea, bro. Oh, yeah. Have you seen that uh, new website called Oogle? <laughs> so like Google, but we one, changed it. See, so I don't know what's going on here, because this says tight means extremely mad. Oh, but dude, like, no, that's tight. Like, no, like, yo, that jacket is tight, tight son. Yo, me. me. <laughs> like, and I was all like, left, right, left. <laughs> uh? <laughs> Free paper. <laughs> <laughs> you have no many times how many times I've gone back and watched that movie just to get Shorty's fucking laugh down. Dude, Shorty is such oh, a good My character. favorite character in that movie by far. I didn't even know he was a weed smoker until I was like 17. I watched that when I was like 13. I didn't know what weed was. Right. Got me good this time. Why are you like, smoking that leaf? Like paper? the scene where... Uh, the tree rolls him the up. The tree rolls him up. Like, Bro. I was like, oh, that looks like a cigarette. Yeah, right. <laughs> you're going to get cancer. Right. And then you watch it when you're a little bit older and you're like, oh, he made a joint out of him. Okay. That makes more sense as to why his head was on fire <laughs> and it did not have a filter. And it was twisted at the end. Notice that. Um, twisted, not stead. Yeah, and then all these are like wig snatched. You heard? <laughs> I thought I said yogurt. <laughs> and then witch you. Like, why is that on here? Like, witch. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it with you. And then you got jokes. In a time like, in a we world. said that back in high school. Oh, got jokes, son. You got jokes? I mean. <laughs> okay, yeah, and then that's it. Yeah, and then some weird people, baby pregnancies and stuff like that. So start using those uh, ridiculous phrases in your everyday speech and you will sound intelligent. And exactly. <laughs> Word up. Church. Peace up. Eight town down. <laughs> Thanks, T.I. You can let me know what that's about. <laughs> Tip. Harris. Okay, well. Uh, All right, well, we went seven minutes over for you guys. We yeah. hope you enjoyed it. That was a slam pack. If you have to listen to us in a two-week segment, I guess do it. I'll um, see you again in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but don't forget to go to nerdshed.net yeah. wa watch nerdshed tv on the youtube channel look at all of um, our stuff but then you can also listen to us wherever you listen to your podcast yeah you can do it in your phone you can do it from your desktop area you can even do it in your house talking about podcasting what listening to it how do they listen to it in their house if, I'm assuming that they have, like, you know, that cool Alexa thing, and they can set it up to their speakers. They don't even have to have their phone on them. They could just, like, hey, Alexa, play the nerd shit. Oh, can, can they do that? I, probably, but I don't think we're Alexa certified, so, uh, no. Does Amazon have, like, a podcast streaming thing? Oh, they might. That's amazing okay. if it is. <laughs> anyway, email us at... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the nerdshed podcast at gmail.com yes uh, nerdshed.net uh, facebook.com slash nerdshed literally every single place on the yeah. internet you'll see my face all over i think the place. if you just google the nerdshed like we come up right away yeah, so. that's kind of cool being the yeah. top of google results mostly because we're the only ones named like this but hey, yeah i'll take it all right bye guys uh we'll see you next week bye that's it for the nerd shed this week make sure to like and subscribe and tune back in next week for more random shit